Hi, I'm Brittany, and welcome to the Dating Advice Show. We are your ladies. Here's your question. Okay, well, let's see. How can a man use the social networking sites as an advantage to dating or attempting to date a woman? Well, I think that social networking sites help because you get a little bit more insight on the person mm, before mm, you get involved. Really good point, like yeah. You get to see their statuses, you get to see the kind of things that they're into, you get to see a barrage of pictures, although it's always the good parts mm, of their yeah, life. Right. But nonetheless, it is a snapshot and that's a background check that you probably wouldn't get mm -hmm. any other way. I, right. I think um, also, if you know, you're shy, shy male, shy female, I think it's a great way to like, break into dating or because it's a way you can get to communicate with someone talk with someone without having all that pressure of you have rejection. a safety zone you, exactly. have a, you have a little like bit a of buffering net. to protect your emotions i think that the best thing for i'm so traditional sometimes i'm just like i need face to face at least once face to face and then from a distance i can keep in touch with you until we see each other again but i need to have at least one time where i see you face to face before just being in touch with someone and then randomly seeing them. I've had friends who've had it work, but if you're gonna do it, I think that the biggest thing is comment on something that I posted about personally or that's deep to me and then relate to it and have something nice to say about it. Maybe tell me a background story about, you know what, I saw what you said here and that reminds me of this and this is what happened to me in my life and then maybe we'll spark conversation. One of the things that I think could be tricky with like tweeting and Facebook and stuff is that people, you don't know when to take it to the face to face. Yeah. You know, you're tweeting back and forth and you're having this connection on Twitter or you're commenting on one another's pages on Facebook and then you start to neglect the whole, oh, let's get together. Yeah. And so then you get into this kind of, well, now we're just Facebook. It's almost whatever. like starting that whole text message relationship. Yes. When you start and you meet someone and you start texting, oh, it's like that's all it'll ever be. Right. Because now you're so comfortable with texting, it feels uncomfortable to, to call. To call. call. Yeah, you're like, I don't even know. That's I true. Yeah. I've, I've, but go what I was going to say about that, one of the difficult things is I think online sometimes you create a persona. <laughs> so, you know, you have this persona about yourself or a <laughs> little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've met people or I've heard people tell me they've met people also that have created, you know, themselves up to be something that they're not. And when you meet them in person, they're not this great person that they, they Who claim. Who reads to be. all these books yeah. and does all these amazing things. And you're like, like, okay, so you're just. I've never lying. personally met anybody uh, online that I. Um, first had initial contact with on Facebook or Twitter. I've never met them in real life. I've never had that type of an interaction. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily be against it. But then again, if you're the type of person that really wants to utilize that media, while it could be a great opportunity, don't forget to really take a look at the real people in your life around you. You could have met that person a long time ago if you weren't so much into your Twitter and yeah. into your social media and focus more on the real life happening around you. I think that Nowadays, people are getting so caught up in technology mm -hmm. and, you know, how easy it is that they're losing that kind of art personal. of personal interaction. Well, then another thing that I think about is, okay, let's say you're dating someone and then are you guys Twitter friends? Let's <laughs> say, are you guys going to start being Twitter, you know, following each other on Twitter and then Facebook friends? Personally, I don't see a problem with it. What's out is out. I can access. I can have access to it. It's about me having to guard myself into searching and investigating and being that person that always wants to know more. What yeah. about the Facebook official? Oh, uh, so important. <laughs> I don't care. Do I do think it's important. I would be offended if you know you got to that point where you had that serious relationship and they didn't change their status. I'd be like, what the heck? You don't want everyone in the world to know that you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do, you, what do you feel? Do you does it matter if they have in a relationship or in a relationship with, and they mm. have the, the link connected? It's as long as they have in a relationship, that's good. But if they have in a relationship with you, I think that that's better. I love it when a man uses it for like marketing or for work social or media. So, you know, yeah. social, social media, media. used for exactly what, <laughs> what it's, it's meant, meant for. for. So I'm okay with that, especially if they have something that they need to uphold in their workplace for creating their followers and whatever. Do it. But when it comes down to it, it's like, don't let Twitter and Facebook determine yeah. your relationship. Let yourself and the trust, the, everything else that you build, yeah. determine build a real your relationship. relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And pick up your phone to get in touch with something else besides the internet. Yes. Like, yes. call a girl. 
I know, I know he said that so many times on this show, but I'm a big fan of picking yeah. up the phone. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just me. Just call me. Like, yeah. that is <gasps> Even if it's a five-minute you conversation, you don't have Do you guys time. remember phone sex? No! <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Grace. No. <laughs> Do Come on. Is it a game? Like, I'm no. just saying, like, I feel like that doesn't happen anymore. I'm so old-fashioned. I'm like, none of that, none of that.